The world is quiet now, darkness has fallen, stars are emerging, yet beneath the stillness whispers linger. They echo from a time long ago, from civilizations lost to the mists of history. These are the stories whispered on the wind, carried on the backs of desert sands, hidden within the heart of ancient stones. Tonight, we listen. We turn our gaze back through millennia, seeking the echoes of forgotten empires and vanished peoples. Our guide is curiosity, our destination, the wonders of the past. Tonight, we journey into the embrace of history. Imagine a time when the sky was not merely a backdrop, but a stage. A time when celestial bodies were not distant objects, but powerful deities shaping the fate of humankind. Our ancestors looked to the heavens and saw stories unfold. Stories of cosmic serpents, of vengeful gods, of celestial battles reflected in the dance of stars. We will journey first to a time before recorded history, when the Earth itself was young. We will explore myths of creation, seeking the kernels of truth hidden within. From there, we will travel to the cradles of civilization, to the banks of the Nile, the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia, the Indus Valley. Each stop on our journey will reveal the ingenuity, the artistry, the sheer will of those who came before us. Tonight, let us not simply learn about history, let us feel it, let us step into the sandals of a Roman soldier, smell the incense burning in an Egyptian temple, hear the murmur of prayers in a Mayan pyramid. History is not a dry collection of dates and names, it is a tapestry woven from the threads of countless lives, dreams and ambitions. It is a reminder that we are part of something vast and ancient, a story that continues to unfold even now. As you listen to these stories, let your mind wander. Allow yourself to drift on the currents of time, to be carried away by the whispers of the past. As twilight deepens and the first stars begin to glimmer, a single celestial body commands our attention in the western sky. Venus, known as the evening star, it glows with a serene, almost ethereal beauty a beacon of tranquility in the darkening heavens. To our modern eyes, Venus appears as a symbol of peace and love, its gentle light inspiring poets and romantics for centuries. But what if this serene celestial body harbors a hidden past, a past far more tumultuous than its present appearance suggests? In many cultures, Venus was associated not with love and beauty, but with war, disaster, and the capricious whims of the gods. Imagine a time when Venus was not a distant point of light, but a blazing comet, its fiery tail arcing across the sky, a harbinger of change and upheaval. There is evidence to suggest that Venus in the early days of our solar system may have had a much more elliptical orbit, bringing it far closer to Earth than it is today. During these close encounters, Venus would have appeared not as a star, but as a dazzling comet-like object its gravitational pull wreaking havoc on our planet. Imagine the tides surging, earthquakes rippling across continents, volcanoes erupting with renewed fury, a scene of unimaginable chaos and destruction. Could this explain the prevalence of flood myths and cultures across the globe, tales of a great deluge that reshaped the Earth? From the ancient Sumerians, who called Venus Inanna, the Queen of Heaven, to the Mayans, who meticulously tracked its movements, associating it with war and upheaval, cultures across the globe wove tales of Venus's power and unpredictability. In these stories, Venus was often depicted as a powerful deity, capable of both great benevolence and terrible destruction. 
The ancient Greeks told of Phaethon, the son of Helios, the sun god, who, in his youthful arrogance, lost control of his father's chariot, scorching the earth and causing widespread devastation. Could this myth be a metaphorical representation of a close encounter with Venus, its fiery passage leaving a trail of destruction in its wake? These myths, passed down through generations, may hold fragments of ancient astronomical knowledge, observations of celestial events woven into narratives that sought to explain the unexplainable. As you drift off to sleep tonight, let your mind wander back through time to an era when the sky was alive with gods and monsters, when celestial events were imbued with deep significance. Imagine the awe and terror our ancestors must have felt as they witnessed the fiery passage of Venus, its brilliance illuminating the night sky, its presence a harbinger of both creation and destruction. These tales, passed down through millennia, are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, our innate desire to find meaning and order in the world around us. They are also a reminder of the vastness and mystery of the universe we inhabit, a universe that continues to surprise and amaze us. As you close your eyes and surrender to sleep, let the whispers of the past lull you into a peaceful slumber. Our journey through time now takes us to the Americas, a continent teeming with its own rich tapestry of ancient cultures and civilizations. High in the Andes Mountains, shrouded in mist and legend, lies a civilization that once rivaled the greatest empires of the old world, the Inca. From the fertile valleys to the dizzying heights of the Andes, the Inca carved out an empire that stretched for thousands of miles, connected by intricate roads and a complex system of governments. Their mastery of agriculture, their intricate textiles, their awe-inspiring architecture, all speak to a people deeply connected to their environment, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of nature. At the heart of the Inca Empire, nestled amidst the towering peaks, lay a city shrouded in mystery. A city that vanished from human memory for centuries, only to re-emerge as one of the most iconic archaeological sites in the world, Machu Picchu. Imagine a city of stone sculpted into the side of a mountain, its temples and terraces reaching towards the heavens. A city where clouds drift through the streets and the air is thin and crisp, carrying the scent of pine and the distant roar of waterfalls. This is Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas. Discovered by the outside world only in the early 20th century, Machu Picchu is a testament to the ingenuity and architectural prowess of the Inca. Its massive stone blocks, cut and fitted with astonishing precision, create a seamless blend of natural and human-made beauty. Water flows through intricate channels, irrigating terraced gardens that cling to the mountainside. As you wander through the ruins, imagine the city in its prime, bustling with life. Machu Picchu is a place where the past feels tangibly present, where you can almost hear the echoes of a vanished civilization. Central to Inca cosmology was Inti, the sun god, a deity whose life-giving warmth sustained their crops, dictated their seasons and held a place of honor in their daily lives. The Inca ruler, the Sapa Inca, was considered the descendant of Inti, his divine authority legitimizing his rule and connecting him to the celestial realm. Throughout Machu Picchu, evidence of Inti's veneration is omnipresent. The Intihuatana stone, a meticulously carved rock believed to have been used as an astronomical clock or calendar, stands as a testament to the Inca's sophisticated understanding of celestial movements and their connection to the agricultural cycle. The reverence for Intai was not confined to the elite or the priesthood. It permeated all levels of Inca society, influencing their daily routines, their festivals, and their very understanding of their place in the cosmos. <laughs> 
To reach Machu Picchu, even today, is to embark on a journey of awe-inspiring beauty and physical challenge. The Inca Trail, a network of ancient pathways winding through cloud forests and over mountain passes, offers a glimpse into the tenacity and skill of the Inca builders. Imagine traversing these paths as the Inca once did. Your feet following in the footsteps of messengers, traders and pilgrims. The air thins with each upward step. The landscape transforming from lush valleys to windswept peaks. Llamas laden with goods navigate the rocky terrain with sure-footed grace. As you climb, the anticipation builds. Each turn in the trail, each summit reached, brings you closer to the fabled city in the clouds. As darkness falls over Machu Picchu, casting long shadows across the ruins, the city takes on an even more ethereal quality. The stars emerge, mirroring the celestial patterns the Inca observed with such reverence. A reminder that we are connected to the cosmos in ways both profound and mysterious. The whispers of the past seem to grow louder in the stillness of the night. If you find this journey through history fascinating, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more captivating content. Machu Picchu stands as a testament to the enduring power of human ingenuity, our capacity for creation and our connection to something far greater than ourselves. As you close your eyes and drift off to sleep, let the spirit of Machu Picchu linger in your dreams. Our journey through the annals of history now carries us to the land of scorching sands, shimmering mirages, and a civilization that continues to captivate the world with its grandeur and mystery, ancient Egypt. Imagine a land where the Nile River a ribbon of life snaking through the desert, nurtured a civilization that would rise to become one of the most influential in human history. Picture yourself standing on the edge of a vast desert, the sun beating down on your face, a warm wind carrying the scent of ancient dust and the faintest whisper of forgotten languages. Before you, rising from the sands like apparitions, stand the pyramids of Giza, colossal testaments to a civilization that dare to touch the heavens. As we delve into the heart of ancient Egypt, we'll uncover the stories etched into their very stones, tales of pharaohs and priests, of life and death, of a civilization that gazed at the stars and sought to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. At the helm of ancient Egyptian society stood the pharaoh, a ruler considered both a political leader and a divine intermediary. Clad in gold and adorned with symbols of their authority, the pharaohs held absolute power. The pyramids, enduring symbols of ancient Egypt, were powerful statements of their divinity. Imagine the pharaoh surrounded by his court overseeing the construction of his pyramid. Thousands of workers, their bodies glistening with sweat, haul massive stone blocks. Priests conduct ceremonies to appease the gods and ensure the pharaoh's safe passage into the afterlife. The construction of the pyramids astounds modern builders and architects. The precision and scale of these projects point to an advanced understanding of engineering. Under a scorching sun, workers use copper tools to quarry massive limestone blocks. These blocks were transported on wooden sledges and rollers, lubricated with water. Ingenious systems of ramps, ropes and pulleys raised the stones. Despite the challenges, the pyramids rise, a testament to ancient ingenuity. For the ancient Egyptians, death was not an end, but a transition to another realm. The afterlife, known as the Field of Reeds, was a paradise for the virtuous. Pyramids were designed to facilitate the pharaoh's journey into the afterlife. Imagine descending into the cool, dark depths of a pyramid. The air is heavy with incense, revealing walls adorned with intricate hieroglyphs. Finally, you reach the heart of the pyramid, the pharaoh's burial chamber. 
As you emerge from the depths of the pyramid, blinking against the desert sun, the immensity of these structures takes on a new significance. They are not merely tombs, but eternal guardians. Their imposing presence, a constant reminder of the civilization that built them. The pyramids of Giza have stood for millennia, weathering the sands of time and the ravages of history. They remain silent but eloquent testaments to the human desire to leave a mark on the world. Let the mysteries of ancient Egypt lull you into a peaceful sleep filled with dreams of golden sarcophagi and enigmatic hieroglyphs. Our journey through time now takes us beneath the surface of the earth, into the heart of a land where ancient history intertwines with a landscape sculpted by both nature's artistry and human ingenuity. We venture to Cappadocia, a region in modern-day Turkey where volcanic eruptions have painted the landscape with surreal rock formations and honeycombed the earth with a hidden network of underground cities. Imagine a land where towering pillars of rock eroded by wind and water into fantastical shapes stand like sentinels over a sun-drenched landscape. This is Cappadocia, a place where the boundaries between reality and dreams seem to blur and where beneath the surface a secret world awaits. Derinkuyu, one of the most extensive and well-preserved underground cities in Cappadocia, beckons us into its depths. Descend with me now through narrow, winding tunnels, the air cool and damp. Feel the weight of history pressing in as you navigate passageways carved from volcanic rock. Imagine the hushed whispers of families seeking refuge, their faces illuminated by the flickering glow of oil lamps. As you venture deeper, the ingenuity of its design becomes apparent. Ingenious traps protected the inhabitants from invaders. This was a city designed for survival, a testament to human innovation. As you wander through the labyrinthine corridors of Derinkuyu, imagine the echoes of daily life that once resonated within these subterranean chambers. Picture families gathering in dimly lit rooms, their faces illuminated by the warm glow of oil lamps, sharing meager meals and finding solace in each other's company. Imagine the hushed reverence as the inhabitants gathered in the underground churches, their voices blending in prayer, seeking solace and strength in their faith. The Heart of Resilience The underground cities of Cappadocia were microcosms of life above, Reflecting the resilience and adaptability of the people, imagine the ingenuity required to sustain life underground, cultivating mushrooms and vegetables, channeling water through intricate tunnels, and maintaining livestock in confined spaces. Artisans crafted pottery, wove textiles, and fashioned tools, showcasing creativity and resourcefulness. Imagine the sense of community, the shared purpose and interdependence. They endured, adapting to their environment, preserving traditions and passing on stories to future generations. Their legacy reminds us that even in dark times, the human spirit can flourish. Dreams of the Depths as you ascend from the depths of Derinkuyu, the experience lingers, a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit. The rock formations of Cappadocia now stand as testaments to the enduring human spirit. Let your mind wander through the cool, hushed tunnels of Derinkuyu where hope flickered like a lamp in the darkness. Let their stories lull you into a peaceful sleep the stars above mirroring the constellations that guided travelers for millennia. Let the dreams of the depths carry you away. Echoes of wonder. As the last embers of our journey through time begin to fade and the weight of slumber gently pulls you deeper into the night, let the echoes of these ancient wonders linger in your mind. The whispers of pharaohs, the rustle of Inca textiles, the soft footfalls of those who sought refuge beneath the earth. 
They are all part of a symphony of history that continues to resonate within us. Tonight we've journeyed from the blazing trail of Venus to the cloud-kissed heights of Machu Picchu, from the silent grandeur of the pyramids to the hushed depths of Derinkuyu. We've brushed against the mysteries of civilizations long vanished, felt the pulse of their ambitions, and glimpsed the echoes of their dreams. But these stories are not merely relics of a distant past. They are threads woven into the very fabric of our present, reminders of the enduring human spirit, our capacity for innovation, our connection to something far greater than ourselves. They are proof that even as empires crumble and civilizations fade, the echoes of their achievements, their creativity, their very existence, continue to inspire and shape the world we know today. The past within us. As you surrender to sleep, remember that history is not a closed book, but a living, breathing tapestry. It is a conversation that spans millennia, connecting us to those who came before us and whispering possibilities to those who will come after. It is a reminder that we are all part of something vast and ancient, a, a story still being written. Let the mysteries we've uncovered tonight fuel your own dreams. Dream of lost cities yet to be found, of celestial wonders yet to be revealed, of the untapped potential that lies dormant within each of us. Dream of the stories you will one day tell, the legacies you will leave behind, the echoes you will add to the grand symphony of human history. The past is never truly lost, for it lives on within us. It shapes our present, fuels our imaginations, and whispers possibilities for the future. So sleep now and let the, the ancient world be your guide as you journey into the realm of dreams, a realm where anything is possible and where the echoes of wonder never truly fade. If you enjoyed this journey through time, please like, subscribe and share. Join us for more explorations of the past and its wonders.